Eskil, do you copy? Eskil, please answer. Oh yeah, sorry, copy. I'm just not used to flying in jet fighters. How do you straighten this thing up? Maybe you should have read the manual. Oh, shut up. Ah. 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 Whoa! Shit! There we go. Having some trouble? Wow, it's beautiful up here. Did you bring your camera with you? Yeah, I was going to, but the Magic Lantern hack destroyed it. Ah, so typical. Yeah. Oh, bad news, that's kill. Wait, I see a man down there. <laughs> Fun little man. Eskil, listen. People look so tiny from up here. Eskil, this is serious. A suspicious aircraft is flying towards your position. What? Hey, what? It's getting closer. Oh, oh crap! What do I do now? You need to shoot it down before it shoots you. I don't know how to shoot! Then figure it out, quickly. Activate the missile. Okay, uh... Is it, is it this one? Uh, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know! Hello guys! <laughs> Finally, I can say welcome to our first video in 2014. I'm not used to work with green screen, so the jet fighter scene took some time, but now it's finally done and uh, I think it went really well. But does it look like it's a scene from a high budget film? What usually separates a high budget film from a low budget film is the amount of effort you need to shoot wherever you want for your film. For example, if you live in Europe and you want some helicopter shots from Tokyo in Japan, it's hard to do those shots without a lot of money. Unless you have some great contacts in Japan, of course. So it's a shame that money plays an important role when it comes to the creative process of making a film. But there are some solutions out there, and I found one solution that helped me to create a jet fighter scene for almost no money at all. So I will show it to you guys, and hopefully it will help you too. Ja, Anders, nu är jag spänd på klippen. Ja. Vi måste säga engelska i några filmer. Ja, ok. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, I came across this uh, awesome site, it's called um, pond5.com. Uh, here you can find stock footage, like video footage and uh, sound and music and uh, pictures and After Effects project files. Yeah. Which you can download and use for your movies. Uh, and the thing is, when you uh, download them and buy them, you can use them for whatever you want. So. We can try. Nice. Here in Pond5 you can uh, search for, um, let's try to search for a video. We can try, for example, Norway. Let's see what pops up. As you can see, it finds a lot of uh, video files, like this uh, Northern Light. But does it have, like, anything? Because I've been looking for someone to make me 
like a flaming intro, mm-hmm. like with flame and letters and everything. Mm-hmm. You can try that. Yeah. That's it. Flaming intro. And then probably <coughs> you want your own logo into the intro. Yeah. So probably if you search for uh, After Effects, you can find some project files. So this one, for example, looks nice. Yeah. And it's just 20 bucks. So. So I can just put it into After Effects? Yeah, and then open it. It's a project file, I think. Nice. So I just press the thumbnail button there. Yeah. And then you can uh, just you get some more information about uh, about the video. It's nice because you don't want to download something you don't you don't want to use. Yeah. So here you can see this file is a project file that requires Adobe After Effects to see this for. And it's a little bit about it, uh, the resolution and how long it is. And also you can see who made it, this artist, and you can also see what other things he made if you like his work, and then you can yeah. probably find some other things. So for only 20 bucks you can download it and use it, and uh, it's really easy, uh, I can show you. So you just... Nice, yeah. but uh, you were probably just lucky. Um, let me try. Okay. Okay. Um, what about military helicopter? And then you press the video. If yeah. It's the video you want to have. Okay. Nice. That's a cool shot. It's only thirty bucks. That's pretty awesome. You know, instead of renting a helicopter and uh, <laughs> filming it, uh, it probably would cost a l- many hundred dollars yeah. to just use this one. And <laughs> the cat wants to see as yeah. well. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, uh, uh, you can also download the preview version, so you can test it first to see if it fits your movie. Yeah. And if you don't like it, you don't need to buy it. So uh, I've done it uh, several times. Let's see if you need some epic music for your action film. Yeah. Uh, some people just find the music from a film and they use it, but YouTube will, will block your video yeah. if you don't have uh, the right to use the music. So let's try to search for epic, uh, and then choose music. Cool thing you can download the preview and you can just put the music into your film yeah and see if the music fits the film and if you like it you just buy it yeah and then you can use it okay but seriously now i'm really curious about the jet fighter uh, movie yeah. uh, how did you make it the thing was that uh when i found about pond 5 i searched for jet fighters uh jet fighters yeah. and i found a lot of nice uh video of uh, jet fighters flying through the air Okay. And then I just make this scene, and uh, I thought I could film you inside the jet fighter <laughs> at the museum, and yeah. uh, just edit it together. But what about the ending? Uh, after I shot that missile, shouldn't you have seen a clip where the enemy plane just blew uh, up? Uh, the thing is that I didn't find any shots of a jet fighter that shot down an enemy. So um, okay. I'm still waiting for that shot, so if someone can make that shot and put it on Pong 5, I will use it. <laughs> Got a mission, internet. The thing is that everyone can upload their own videos or yeah. sound effects or music, you know, oh. effects files, and you can sell it on the Pong 5. Oh, and, you get, and you get 50% of each sale, so it's really nice. That's a great way to earn some extra money. Yep. But of course the video should be in high quality, considering that people would like to buy your video. Yeah. So. But if I film with, for example, my Canon DSLR, mm. uh, would that be good enough? Yeah, that would be good enough. But that's perfect. Now we know where to look for uh, clips for our next action movie. Uh, yeah. And also, because we both have a lot of clips, we can both upload them to this site that's and good. even earn some money. Yep. That's awesome. Now we know how to be rich. As well. <laughs> Finally. Become rich. <laughs> oh, this is not long. Oh, yeah. They are fucking scary. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, so now you know where to get some stock footage and also where to upload your videos so you can earn some money. And in addition, I think Pond5 is releasing every week one new media so you can download for free 
and you see any movies, that's great. And what's even better is that I found 50 shots, it's royalty free, and I want to give it to you guys. Uh, you can download them and use any movies uh, for whatever movie you would like. Uh, add the link in the description. Uh, it includes the military helicopter shot that Eskel found and some uh, total wide shots of Los Angeles from helicopter and stuff like that. So just try to download them and test it out. And good luck with shooting some stock footage and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye. Oh shit! I lost control again! Uh.